Hey guys, what's up? So today we're filming a very exciting video. We're gonna be doing my haul for this week. So I got some stuff from Sephora and Ulta and then also Benefit sent me PR for the first time. So I wanted to show you guys that because I'm really excited about it. So if you guys wanna see this haul, let's go ahead and get started. So let's go ahead and start with Sephora. So I have this ginormous cleanser in here and I actually didn't get this from Sephora. I got it from Ulta, but it did not fit in my Ulta bag. But I actually won this as a prize from work and I was really excited about it. I think they came out with this for like the holidays because they do not sell this size. Um, how much is in here? It has 64 fluid ounces and this is a cleanser. Christian saw it and he was like, is that a body wash or a shampoo? And I was like, no, it's a face cleanser. It's just ginormous. Um, so they came out with this for the holidays because I guess this is their like most popular cleanser. And like I said, I want it. And so I am set on cleanser for a while. I also love this to wash my makeup brushes when I worked at Sephora that's what we used to wash all the brushes at the end of the day and so I love this stuff so I'm really excited about it now moving on to the stuff that's actually from Sephora so I picked up the new concealer from Hourglass I actually saw this online when it first came out and I was like okay add to cart and I'll buy it later and then I totally forgot about it and then I went the other day and I saw it in store and I was like oh my gosh I was supposed to buy that um so this is their new vanish airbrush concealer it's supposed to be full coverage and I got the color Silk, which looks like a pinkier undertone, but the other ones that are actually like yellow look so yellow, like too yellow. So hopefully this will be a good color for me, but I'm really excited. I love their foundation stick. I wasn't the biggest fan of their liquid foundation, so hopefully I'll like this, but... It has really pretty luxurious packaging, but let me know if you guys want to see this in a video and I could do that for you. Just review it. Um, I actually wanted to use it today and I totally forgot about it, um, but this is what the color looks like right there. Hopefully it'll be a good color for me. I'm actually going to compare it to my Tarte Shape Tape because I love this color. I use the color Light Neutral. Let's see how close they are. Ooh, okay, it does look a lot more pink than the Tarte one, if you guys could see that. Uh, so I don't know, I'm definitely gonna have to try this out right away so I can know if I have to exchange the color or not. Ooh, it does look a little dark. I don't know, it's just a different undertone, so I'm not sure. So I'm definitely gonna have to try that tomorrow. Yeah, and I was just really excited when I saw that in store. And then I also picked up the new Natasha Denona Mini Glam Palette. You guys know these are my favorite palettes from Natasha Denona. I just love her minis. And my favorite one is the Nude. And this one is called the Glam Palette. I don't know if I said that already, I probably did. Um, But it's so pretty. It's more of a cool tone palette. This is what it looks like right here. Please excuse my nail that's like broke I'm actually going today to get them done um, but these colors are so pretty they actually pull more green I was noticing that when I was swatching them in store but I definitely can't wait to try this like let me show you how good they swatch like check out this pigment oh my god yes it's so pretty and so metallic hopefully you guys can see that I swatched a weird color here let me swatch this green check this green out Oh yeah, it's like a cool tone army brown green. I don't know how to explain it, but it's just really pretty and unique. And so I cannot wait to test this baby out and these are perfect for travel as well. So moving on to Ulta. So Ulta just started carrying Laura Mercier, which I'm so freaking excited about. So I picked up their powder. I actually haven't had a full size of this in a while because I do have some minis and I just been using ones from Ulta just because I like the point system better there. But now that they had it there, I definitely decided to pick it up because I got my points. Um, but I'm so excited. Like I said, I haven't used this in a while because I only have the minis and I usually use those just for travel but now I have a full size back in my collection so I'm really excited about it so if you guys haven't tried this powder it's really good at like oil control and also blurring pores I don't personally love it under my eyes because it is a little bit drier but on the rest of my face it's amazing and so nothing beats the satisfaction of having a fresh powder because I use so much powder every day I basically inhale it I'm 
that's probably bad for your health, but I just love baking my face. So I am really excited about this. So moving on, I got some clips for my bangs just because now that I have bangs, whenever I wear my usual like headband for when I do skincare or makeup, my bangs will stand straight, straight up and they'll look ridiculous. And so I needed something to like clip them out of the way without like making them go all the way back, if you know what I'm saying. So I picked these up, hopefully they're good. I also needed some clips just to cut Christian's hair with as well because my clips suck so bad right now that every time I'm like cutting his hair his hair will literally be slithering out of the clip um so hopefully these are good it just comes with three of them hopefully it'll be enough I mean if I like them I'll probably get more but they were seven dollars so let's take a look at them they're nude and they're glittery which is really cool but they kind of reminded me of the dry bar clips but less expensive oh they're really really sturdy Hopefully they don't leave like a crinkle in my hair though. It seems like it would work pretty good. I don't know. But we shall see. My bangs are all messed up now. I can't decide if I like the way they look straight down or to the side. But anyways, let me show you like this glitter on here. Hopefully you can see it, but it's just like a slight glitter and it's in this nude color. So pretty. Next up, I picked up the new Benefit Professional Hydrating Primer. I just love the way that this felt on the back of my hand. And it has hyaluronic acid, which I love in my primers, just because I feel like to the touch, my skin feels dry, but I do produce a lot of oil throughout the day, so I am oily. So usually I'll wear like a matte foundation, but I'll use a hydrating primer. And this also helps with pores, so it's like a twofer. So it sounds too good to be true, but I'm definitely gonna try it all. I love the original Professional so I'm probably gonna like this and it was the same price and everything this is what the packaging looks like right here it has a little scuba dive girl on there how cute but hopefully it doesn't make me get more oily but it does like hydrate and minimize pores we shall see so I picked a couple things up from Mac two lip products of course because I love their lip products so the first one being the cream sheen lipstick in the color modesty I just felt like I was wearing this throughout the day a lot at work and so I fell in love with it and definitely had to get it it's just a really pretty color Kind of like cool tone nude shade but it is a cream sheen so it's very comfortable on the lips to throw on like every hour or whatever um but if you haven't seen it i'll show you what it looks like you guys know i love my nudes and this one is more sheer so it's just easy to like literally just throw on like i'll put a little bit on right now i just had velvet teddy on Mm, and it feels really hydrating. I love this formula, but that is what the color modesty looks like Then I also decided to pick up one of their new lip products that just came out And so this is the patent paint lip lacquer And so what these are is basically like a really pigmented lip gloss I got the color major glazer, which is another nude, but it's a lot more berry than the one I just showed you these are more pricey. They're like $22, but I just kept wearing it every day because it's really comfortable. And usually MAC lip glosses are super thick and sticky, and I don't really like the feel of them except for their Grand Illusion ones. And then this new formula, it's just really thin on the lips, not sticky at all. And it also leaves like a stain on the lips, so it fades really pretty. This is what the packaging looks like, and I'm not gonna lie. It looks a lot like Morphe, but I'll go ahead and show you what this color looks like. Like I said, it's more of like that berry color. I like to wear these kinds of colors when I don't have much on my eyes, just to add some color. That is what it looks like right there, and it just has like a really pretty nice sheen to it as well. Next up, I picked up some stuff that went on sale. So this is the brand Mamad, and this is their lip mask and I actually had been wearing this like a lot when I was at work and I just really liked it but I never thought about like picking it up but it went 50% off and I was like heck yeah I'm definitely gonna have to pick that up because it's like the same price as like drugstore but it's very high-end and luxurious I don't know I just love the way it felt on my lips um, this brand is just really cute I love the packaging and everything so I'll show you what it looks like and it's a good size too this is ginormous this is what it looks like right here. A lot of their stuff is made with like flowers and roses and just very like natural and it's just like a clear balm and it feels very thick but not sticky. And a lot of times when I have this on by itself, a lot of people are like, oh, what are you wearing on your lips? Sorry, I'm like blurry, I'm trying to fix it. Okay, I fixed it. But yeah, I'll literally just like wear this throughout the day by itself and people would be like, what lip gloss are you wearing? It's so juicy. And I'm like, it's not, it's a lip balm. 
I guess technically it's a lip mask, but I don't know. I just really like it. It just feels super duper hydrating. It feels just like the Bite Agave lip mask, except not thick on the lips, you know, to where it's like goopy and you could only wear it at night. Like even though it does say sleeping mask, I would wear this throughout the day. And the last thing that, that I got from Ulta that was also on sale was this Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place foundation. I love this foundation. It's one of my favorites. I actually have it right here and I had a full bottle, but I found this in the clearance section at Ulta. And so I got it like 50% off, which is crazy. And it happened to be my exact shade. So I I wear two in one desert beige so I was like heck yeah I'm buying it as a backup because you would never get this foundation 50% off and so this is what it looks like I'm pretty sure you guys have seen it because it's a very popular foundation but it's actually what I have on my face right now and so I'm really excited that I got this 50% off and then I also got a pump for that this is just a Mac pump I do like these but they get clogged really easily like this one is already clogged so hopefully this one doesn't clog as easily um, but now I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I got from benefit for PR now I'm not on on their PR list or anything this was just for a contest they asked me if I wanted to do it and I said yes and they sent me some goodies so I'm really excited so this is for their brow contest um, you win $50,000 and you could become a benefit brow ambassador and you're just supposed to create like two looks and post them on Instagram which I already did um, doing one of these brows right here or two of those brows right there and so I did a feathered brow and also a contoured brow so if you guys want to see my post make sure to follow me on Instagram but yeah they sent me a box of goodies which I'm so excited and check this box out it's so freaking cute too but I'll show you guys what they sent me so they basically sent me everything that has to do with brows which I haven't tried a lot of their brow products um, I've only tried a couple things and so I was really excited when I saw this because now I get to try almost everything and so this one is what I have on my brows right now so this is their precisely my brow and I got the color 3.75 so like I said that's what I'm wearing and then I set it in place with their 24 hour brow setter and oh my gosh guys this stuff is amazing it just really locks the hairs in place. And I love the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel, but this one is even better because I love the brush on this. Let me show you what it looks like. So it comes in this like silver packaging, and this is what the brush looks like right here. It's just like a comb almost for your brows. And then this is what the Precisely My Brow looks like if you haven't seen it before. This one is really popular, so I'm pretty sure you have. It's just a retractable pencil, and then on one side it has the spoolie. Then I also got the Gimme Brow, which I have tried this product before, and I really love it. It. they sent me the shade four which is perfect for my brows I think before I was using shade three and I like the shade four definitely better and this also comes in silver packaging and then it comes with a little tiny tiny spoolie to put in your brows and this is good for days like you don't want to fill in your brows you just want something really fast you just throw this on the brows it adds volume and it also sets it in place but it's also really good if you want to like put it on top of something to have that really full brow they also sent me this which I haven't tried this is their high brow pencil and so it says creamy brow highlighting pencil so I've never tried this natural looking finish let's see what it looks like Whoop! oh yeah it looks like you sharpen it it's like a highlighter pencil and it looks like it's a pink shade. Ooh, it's really, really creamy. I'm definitely gonna have to try that out. I'm excited. They also sent me their brow powder, which I don't know if this is gonna match, but the one darker looked way too dark, so I'm still glad that they sent this color. So it's shade number three. And they only had a couple colors in this like product. Um, but this is what it looks like right here, and it comes with two different shades in there and a little brush. A lighter shade and then a darker shade I haven't used a brow powder in a long time so I'm really excited to play with that and then next up they sent the goof proof pencil which I have tried this one as well and it's in the same color as the precisely my brow 3.75 um, I like this one. It reminds me a lot of the Anastasia Brow Definer. It has that thicker pencil, which has an angle on it. If I could get it out of here. This is what it looks like right here. Ooh, it's really sharp right now. Um, but it just has an angle. Actually, it's a lot thinner than the Brow Definer. It still has the angle, but it's a lot skinnier and then also a spoolie on one side and this I cannot wait to try I haven't tried this one but I love my Anastasia dip brow pomade and this is basically the same thing this is the cup brow and I got the shade four and this actually comes with a brush already attached to it this is what it looks like right here really nice packaging and then 
on top you get the brush let's see what the color looks like hopefully it matches me yeah it looks like that would be a good color it looks a little bit more cool tone um, but that is what it looks like right there. It's so tiny. Hopefully it's enough product, but I mean, a little bit of this probably goes a very long way. And then last but not least, they sent their angled brush, which I will probably use with this um, if I'm not traveling or anything, just because it's a bigger brush. And I personally like bigger ones, but um, this looks really, really nice. It comes in a little Ziploc. Ooh. And this spoolie looks heavy duty. Okay, and then it has a angle. I'm so excited to try all this. So yeah, that was everything that got in my little goodie box. I'm super excited. Thank you so much to Benefit for sending me that. I was so happy when you sent me an email. And that is gonna do it for this haul. I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, Brittany Raquel, go ahead and subscribe. I post three videos a week and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.